Good morning, boys and girls. Today is March 28th, 2022. We are going to spell March together and count from number one all the way to number 28, friends. We are going to count this morning. Are you ready? Let's begin. M A R C H. March. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, and twenty eight. We made it to 28 days in the month of March. And guess what, friends? We're almost in the month of April. We'll say bye-bye, March. And we'll say hello to April, right? April's coming up. Who knows what today is? Is today Monday? If you said today's Monday, you are correct. Let me put it right here up on the board. Let's make sure it's on here tight and let's sing. Today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long, all day long. Today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long, all day long. Today is Monday, happy, happy Monday, happy, happy Monday. All right, friends, if today is indeed Monday, who knows what yesterday was? Was yesterday Sunday? If you said Sunday, you are correct. And Sunday begins with the letter S. Let's say it together. Sunday. All right. Let's put Sunday up on the board. And let's make sure it's on there nice and tight. Mm -hmm. And let's sing. Today is Monday and yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday and yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. All right, friends, if today is Monday and yesterday is Sunday, what will tomorrow be? Will tomorrow be t -t Tuesday? Tomorrow will be Tuesday. You're right. Let's put Tuesday on the board. She is going to make sure that tape is sticking down correctly. Sometimes it falls, right? Silly thing there. All right. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Okay, friends, let's talk about how many days are in a week. How many days are in a week? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Does someone say seven? If you said seven, you're correct. Let's sing. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. They are Sunday and this Monday, there's Tuesday and this Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. How many days are in a week? Did someone say seven? Yes, if you said seven, you are correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, friends, how many months are in a year? 12, right? We put up 10 fingers, but we can't stop there. We have to add two more. These are the months of the year. There's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. All right, 10 and 2 is 12. Okay, friends, it's, speaking of the week, the months of the year, we're in the spring season. And what do you see in the spring season? Can you tell me, Shannon? Do you see any snow? Mm -mm, no snow there. Do you see a butterfly or a bumblebee and flowers and a bunny peeking and trees? Yes, absolutely. We do see those things. Winter is over, but guess what, friends? It's super cold outside. Ooh, 
It's cold here in Maryland, Michigan is. Today, it's partly cloudy, just a little sunny, but not really, right in between. And guess what? If you notice that Mr. Dinosaur has on his scarf today, he does, friends. Why? Because it's so cold. Yep, even though it's spring and the weather is changing and it's getting warmer, today, friends, happens to be a very cold day. This morning, it was only in the 30s. Whew. He has on a hat. He has on his sunglasses and his blue and white hat matches his blue and white sneakers. He has on a purple sweater to keep his arms warm. And guess what, friends? He has his scarf because it's a little windy too. It's cloudy, a little bit of sun, and it's cold, cold, cold day, even though it's spring. All right, friends, we are going to get to our shout outs. We get to jump up and down and all around. You made it to preschool today. All right, friends, are you ready? If you're here today, I want you to jump up and down and all around. You made it today. It is Courtney here today. It's Courtney here today. Jump up, down, and all around. Courtney is here today. Is Mason here today? Is Mason here today? I jump up, down, and all around. Mason is here today. Is Malia here today? Is Malia here today? I jump up, down, and all around. Malia is here today. Is Camden here today? Is Camden here today? I jump up, down, and all around. Camden is here today. Hooray, you made it today. Is Miss Shannon here today? Is Miss Shannon here today? I jump up, down and all around. Miss Shannon is here today. I made it, friends. You made it here. We're all here today. And we jump up, down, and all around. We made it to preschool today. I'm so glad you're here with me, friends. We made it. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing great. We are going to get started on mm, a fun song. Mm -hmm. And some exercises. Are you ready? Let's put your arms up high, high as you can, and reach, friends, reach. Move those hands, move those arms, wiggle them, wiggle them all around, and stretch to the right, 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 right. Stretch to the left, 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 left. All right, stretch forward. Move those arms. Let me see those strong arms. Good job, friends. And move backwards. Good job. Hands on your head. Hands on your shoulders. Hands on your elbows. Do you know where your elbows are? Mm -hmm. And let me see you smile. Cheese. And give yourself a big squeeze. Or tennis machine and give you a big, big hug. Good job, friends. Give yourselves a clap. And pat on the back. You did amazing. All right, friends, are you ready to sing the wheels and the bus before we start our storybook for today? Who knows that song? The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Who will be on the bus first? How about mommy? Are you ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The mommy on the bus go shh, 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 The mommy on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. All right, who else could be on the bus? Can you tell me somebody? The bus driver, yes. The bus driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back. Move on back, the bus driver tells him to move on back all through the town. What about the wipers if it's raining? Yeah, the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 
all through the town. Good job, friends. Give yourselves a clap one more time and a pat on the back. You did amazing. All right, speaking of wheels that are on a bus, let's talk about transportation. And since the weather is changing, it's getting warm, more people are coming outside and traveling, right? And there's so many different ways to travel. So we're going to take a look at that in our storybook today that's titled, Find It, Things That Go. Tell me what you notice on the front cover. Do you notice, I saw that too, a taxi cab. What else? I see a garbage truck and it looks like an owl. Is that owl riding on a toy truck or a toy car? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what our story is all about. Owl opens up a birthday card, a riddle mystery. Your presence clue is rolling wheels. Now go with mom to see. Owl spots things with rolling wheels. There's one with lights that flash. A yellow one told school age kids another gobbles trash. Police car, school bus, garbage truck. That truck speeds to hospitals and that one's fighting fires. Then zoom, a guy in leather zips through traffic onto tires. Ambulance, fire engine, motorcycle. I'll see something rolling fast and lift into the sky. Yellow cars take passengers. A long car whispers by. Airplane, taxi, limousine. Al sees boxcars roll on tracks, then hears a whistle blow. There's a car without a top. That truck gives cars a tow. Train, convertible, tow truck. At the park, all sorts of wheels roll past Owl and a line. Two wheels, three wheels, here come four. Is Owl's name on that sign? Bicycle, tricycle, red wagon. It says, happy birthday, Owl. Owl shouts, hooray, and then he rides his tiny brand new car. Of all the wheels he saw today, he loves his best by far. Isn't that cool, friends? Have you ever rode on a little buggy like that? Maybe in the house or outside. It looks like fun. All right, friends. Hope you enjoyed that Things That Go book. All right. And speaking of going, guess what, friends? We are going to get into our lesson for today. And today we have a letter maze because we're working on the letter V. And if you can see Ms. Shannon's worksheet, this letter here in green is the letter V, but something's going on with that V, right, friends? It has wiggles and squiggles. It's a maze. And we are going to use our pencil or marker or a crayon, if you like, and we are going to trace and write a line, draw a line all the way through until Check this out, friends. We make it from this side all the way to this side. We have to be very careful, though. We can't get caught in there. <laughs> if you'd like to show me where we get started, I want you to point. Where do you think we would get started? On this side or this side? By the carrots? Nah, that's the end, right? Yes, we'll get started here. So let's do that now together. I'm going to grab my materials, my board, so we can all see this together. I like mazes, friends. I've been on a corn maze before. Yep, where I had to find my way through to the end. <laughs> okay, let's rock and roll. I have a black marker so that we can see really good as we learn all about letter V. And look friends, V is for van. Have you ever rode in a van before, a minivan? Violin, 
Mm -hmm. And our sight word this week is look. Mm -hmm. Last week was up. This week is look. All right, so we post our sight words somewhere where we can see them every day and we practice, okay? In our room, maybe on the refrigerator at home mm -hmm, so that we can see them and our eyes can look at the same word and remember them, okay? All right, and we also do something really fun with our sight words as we put them together, okay? So we'll do that in the next couple of weeks, okay, friends? Let's put our name at the top of our paper. My name is Miss Shannon. All right, Miss Shannon's got her name up there. Go ahead, friends. You can put your name at the top. And we are going to start at the top of our vine and make our way all the way to the carrot. Are you ready? I am. Let's start at the top. There's my line. And I have to make sure that I go in the right direction so that I don't stop. Oh, there's an opening. I go down, keep going, friends. I come back up. Oh, I hook around. Remember, I'm trying to get to the carrots. I come up. I can't go up that way, right? Mm -mm. I want to get to those carrots. I came around. Uh oh, look, friends. And there's some cucumbers too. Mm -hmm. How'd you do on your maze? Good job, friends. Okay, now that we've completed our letter V, maze, V is for vine and V is for vegetables. Can you think of a word that starts with V, friends? Vegetable, violin. How about best? Have you ever worn a vest before? I have a card here, and this is a picture of a vest. The, the vest, and you can put a vest on like a jacket. You see some of our jackets there? Yeah, or shirt. You can put a vest over it. What else starts with V? The, the, the vest, band, violin. How about vase? Mm-hmm, maybe at your home. Your house is decorated with a vase. And guess what, friends? You can put pretty flowers down inside a vase. Some are clear and have no color. Some are like this. Have you ever seen a vase before? All right. Let's get started with tracing letter V. All right. And if you want, you can use a dry erase board and practice the letter V on your own. And we start at the top, which means that's our cloud line. We go down on an angle and back up, okay? So we start here, if I put a dot there, I'm going to draw a straight line down on an angle, just like that. Then I stop at that grass line and go back up to the clouds. There we go, and I have my V. Let's practice together. All right, I'm going to write my name. It's Mission. And together, let's trace letter B. Are you ready? I'm ready. There's that red dot up in the cloud line. Down to the grass, back up. There's that first one. Let's try the next two or the next three. Ready? A diagonal line down, back up again. We're always starting at that red dot, right, friends? Down, and back up. One more time. Start at that red dot. Make sure we stay right there at that grass line and come right back up to the cloud line. And there we have it. One, two, three, four, four letter Bs. Okay, down at the bottom, how many violins do you see? Can you count the violins for me? One, two, three, four, four violins. Let's practice by starting at that red dot, okay, friends? We're going to go down, 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 and back up. So far, so good? Good job. All right, let's do it again. 
Start at that red dot. Let's go down to that grass line, right? Because the grass line is low when we see the grass outside. And where are the clouds? The clouds are up in the sky. So we gotta go way up high. <laughs> One more time. Diagonal line down and back up again. Voila, there we have it. How did you do, friends, with your letter B? I hope you did well. I'm sure you did phenomenal. Keep practicing, okay? It's practice as many times as you want to get comfortable with writing the letter B. Okay, friends, let's grab our plate dough. All right. And we can use our finger and hand muscles to open up that play dough. Mm -hmm. This helps us, right? With our fine motor development. And we just pull it out of that top. And we are going to create the letter B. Are you ready? That uppercase B. Now we wrote it already here, so we can use this as our template, friends and make a V right over top of it or right beside it, whichever you'd like to do. So machine is going to start. I've got my play -Oh, let's roll it together. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the streams. <laughs> right, let's roll. All right, I always say let's rock and roll, right? Let's get this party started. All right, look friends, when we put our hands together like this, it makes our Play-Doh stretch out even longer. And then once we stretch out our Play-Doh, guess what? It's super easy to bend in any shape that we like. How about that B? <laughs> are you ready? So here it was the straight line. Now I can curve it and make the shape just like the letter B. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. I have to curve it just a tad and then back up. Ooh, look, friends, there's my V. How's your V turning out? So far, so good. Take your time, okay? Now the machine wants to make a lowercase V. That's a V that's a little bit smaller than my uppercase V, my big V, right? And it's the same concept. We go down on an angle and back up, but it's just smaller, okay? Or lowercase b. Here we have our Play-Doh again. Let's roll it in our hands. Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. <laughs> and remember, friends, the more you roll it in between your hands, the longer our piece of Play-Doh gets. All right, and then we can just bend it and shape it in whatever color we like or whatever whatever shape, excuse me, whatever shape that we like, okay? Right? Look at that, friends. All right now, uppercase B and lowercase B. How about that? All while using Play-Doh. <laughs> All right, friends, we've got our letter B. We learned today that B is for band and violin. I want you to practice those words and look, right? And guess what, friends? You can take your Play-Doh and you can spell out your sight words too mm -hmm, as you're practicing. Good job, friends. I hope you enjoyed our time together. I sure did. Remember, you are awesome, you are intelligent, and you are amazing. Yes, you, you are, you really, really are. Don't forget Miss Shannon told you. All right, friends, until next time, so long, have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye-bye.